So this is um, a compost tea that's um, just about finished its, its uh, fermentation process. Uh, what it consists of is, is basically a bag of, or a tea bag, massive tea bag. Let's see if I can get a hold of it down here somewhere. It's probably opened up by now. There we go. That's the bag. Uh, and what I've put in there is uh, as much diversity of organic matter as I could. So some finished compost that was wood-based, some fresh nettles, some straw, some chicken manure, um, and uh, anything else I could find. I put it in there. Uh, filled this barrel up to about three quarters with rainwater and fed it molasses. The reason for the molasses is that what I want to do with this process is colonize or encourage all the bacteria and the microorganisms that are in the compost and all the other um, um, organic matter that's in there, uh, encourage them to spread, to colonize and reproduce. Uh, and that's in order to do that, you need to feed them something like molasses, some sugar-based uh, uh, product, which is what they feed on. Um, and the other important ingredient in the process is aeration. So that's why I have a standard aquarium pump in there, which I leave on for about three days running. Um, just trickling like this, that's perfect. Occasionally I'll come and give it a big stir to make sure that it's, it's sort of aerating in depth. Um, at first, the water's not, you don't notice anything strange, it's quite uh, transparent. And then eventually it starts frothing up quite intensively. At the moment you can just see a little bit of the froth. It's, uh, it's finished the process, so uh, it's ready to use. Um, and then after three days what you get is a really potent uh, sort of living fertilizer, if you want to call it, which all the plants, all the garden appreciate massively. Uh, it's too strong to use directly, so I would water it down maybe um, one part to, of compost tea to four parts water uh, and then just with a regular with one of these just go around and spread it on the leaves spread it on even on the soil on the naked soil on the leaves and around the plants as well uh, what that what that is doing it's inoculating the ground around there uh, feeding on all these bacteria that will immediately start spreading around and creating colonies and helping to find a balance, achieve a, a balance in, um, in, 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 the, in the system. Um, it's great for the health of the plants, it promotes, stimulates the health because it does also contain nutrients. Uh, but more importantly, it's best in regulating pests and uh, imbalances that are in the system by providing them with a massive variety of like living organisms. So, yeah. Nothing you would drink though. Uh, it does uh, sometimes it's quite appetizing like you smell it and it doesn't smell bad and you're like hmm that's interesting it sort of looks like uh, like beer I guess it even creates a froth at the top but uh, no I wouldn't recommend it